Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. Now today I'm going to compare, I've been asked to do this, the iFi Go Blue versus the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. Now this Cobalt is more expensive. Um, this is roughly about 269 versus about 200 for the Go Blue. So what I'm going to show you first of all in this video is some other bits you need to take into consideration in terms of the physical size. I'm just going to do a, literally a minute or two close up, some of the bits you need to use this, etc. And then we're going to come back and talk about sound quality. Now, in this pocket I do have the THX Ongs, which I still have, which I will occasionally um, just mention that as well. And if you're, if you're uh, used to my videos, what you can do is always ask a question. I answer all questions. Anyway, let's take a closer look, and then we're going to go and talk about sound quality. So here we have the two um, devices. And as you can see from a size point of view, the, um, they're sort of very similar length, the Cobalt slightly longer. But these do operate two different ways. So the key thing is, what people want to know is sound quality. But I just thought I'd show you just sort of uh, the physical attributes. First of all, unless you've got going straight into a computer which has the USB-A, um, a lot of things now are USB-C, like phones, uh, even like MacBooks. So you'll need the English is included, like so, that goes into the, it's called the Dragon Tail, adapter but then this makes this whole thing a lot bigger so even if using something like the new iPads that have USB-C you'll need to have that whole mechanism there whereas that you could use a short um, USB-C because that is USB-C at the bottom there to USB-C if you're using it wide but obviously with this you're going to use it Bluetooth um, just one other last thing if you're on a lightning device an Apple lightning device you can only use this um, the official adapter from Apple but again that just adds to an extra bit of cable that you have so I'm going to talk about sound quality between these um, so I have used a lot of headphones let's go and check these out let's talk about sound quality now obviously these are both can work wired um, but this doesn't go wireless it's got no Bluetooth and in all honesty whilst this is a very nice piece of kit and in my opinion does sound better than the THX Onks when it comes to when it comes to micro details there's only a few occasions with some headphones where the THX Onks works better where that type of headphone prefers the more clinical sound that comes out of the THX Onks um, that's the short 1540s that I don't know if you can see them in the frame but they're just up there behind me but let's first of all talk about using these wired and when it comes to pure wired mode I think the um, the non-battery no battery needed um, dongle from the audio quest has the slight edge um, it doesn't surprise me that's how it's designed to work but it does become a little bit cumbersome when you need some of the extra cables. For example, if you're using something with a USB-C, in the box you have this extra adapter that you need to go to USB-C, but if you've just got a computer with USB-A, then job done. Nice, simple, no battery required. And obviously, if you're using a computer, your computer or laptop will be able to be plugged in so the drain this has on a device that is, can be mains charged is irrelevant. If you're gonna use this on a portable device, like one of the new iPads that's USB-C or your Android phone, this will drain your battery faster. It's just the way it is. If you have an iPhone, you only have the choice of lightning at the moment, and you will need Apple's official adapter as seen here. That's, that's what you need. That's what it is. That's it. I would say 
the edge slightly goes to the audio quest but then it is 70 pounds more but when it comes to how each device is meant to be used so this is meant to be used bluetooth i will say categorically that this sounds better in its preferred um, selling option so you say this has the slight edge but because there is something called X space and X space, which makes either a little bit of analog uh, boost, boost on the bass or makes the sound stage a bit wider, if you prefer that, and I do prefer the bass boost on this on a number of headphones, then you will prefer this over the Audio Quest. If I had to choose just one, I would pick the Go Blue because of its versatility. Both very, very small, really tiny, and you're not constricted by will this work, um, what cable will I need, will I have compatibility issues, this will just work. Um, the other aspect between these two, where you'd, even in wired, where you'd pick one over the other, the Audio Quest is not balanced, it's straight 3.5. Here you have 4.4 and 3.5, and the Delivery on high impedance headphones is better on the Go Blue. This can still power high impedance headphones, you know, 300 plus headphones. I've tried my Sennheiser HD 600 Audio Quest R70X, which are 470 ohms. This loves them. <laughs> this absolutely loves the Audio Quest headphones. Um, so, from that point of view, then I would say the dynamics are better because there yeah, you've got the, got the option of the balance but even the standard 3.5 is truly excellent what you also have um, is usability so just to, let's take the sound stage a little bit further um, when it comes to bass you can actually increase the bass on this so clearly a win when it comes to sound stage you can widen it this clearly wins when it comes to treble or micro details they are pretty close they both have a nice sort of the i5 is slightly a warmer sound and the audio quest also goes for that but this is a much older it's been around much longer this is quite new out of the block and as i said before if i was buying today i wouldn't have bought this i'd have just bought that but then you might say to yourself well i don't want to have a battery that needs charging all the time i just want something to plug and play and forget in which case then obviously you're going to go for this type of setup. It's a very tricky one. You do have to take into account how and where you're going to use this and the applications. Um, but they're both they are both really good devices, um, each their own set. But if you've got a specific question, um, then let me know. I mean, you, you've also got this THX dongle, which I said I'd mention briefly. Um, in terms of outright musicality, sound quality, this doesn't have the edge over either one of these two. It, it just doesn't. Um, but as I said, there are some headphones where that clinical sound that it puts out, do, they do appreciate a more cold analytical sound work better with some headphones. Also, if you're gonna use this as a DAC, where you have a much better um, headphone amp, then you could work and use this as well. This is also about 200 pounds, so the same price as that. But honestly, um, the Audio Quest does sound more musical. Um, so on the rare occasion, these, this does sound better with certain headphones. I just think you're better to have someone that sounds good with all headphones. That's all. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Any questions, let me know. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.